We are the biggest, we are the largest African spiritual platform. Here, there, you can be be my mu asem, a be be me mu abakwasem, a be be me mu ahun hum sem, a be before be be ara efa yehu. Yeah, try say you be liberate yehu. And we are preaching consciousness and enlightenment on this very platform. I welcome you to another great episode. My name is Hadassah. You can also call me Empress Makida. You can call me Jezebel. Call me anything you want. Don't forget to add spirituality to it because I love spirits. People call me Mommy Grace. And I am Revelations, the biggest, the highest, the largest African spiritual platform. It's going to be a great day today. I welcome you, my beautiful subscribers and my awesome followers. You make this platform the biggest. I welcome you with you and me. Let's all go and welcome our guest. He's Latif. He's been here before. Latif, I welcome you. Thank you, Aman. Hey, Latif, how are you? I'm fine. Revelations has made you popular. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, Simam, person who cheer, you are for no, so when you are home, just greet them, the pearls, the wise. Yeah. Uh, greet them and then. Yeah, I'm greeting all Revelation viewers and their subscribers. Uh, I'm also grateful unto Mama and your crew, your managers and your directors. So, keep watching Revelation TV. I see you keep watching Revelations <coughs> for more. Yes. And then you have to do what you did the other day. You have to do what you did the other day. You have to do Christianity and Islam. You have to do what you did the other day. You have to do what you did the other day. African spirituality. Um, African home home semu medical culture say spirituality goes beyond every book Quran uh, Bible every book bagai vajita all the book 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 spirituality goes beyond all that and nunti ye babe tie ono so so um ni su e hunu ana ni nim die you know we are the biggest educational platform ye nye advertisement to anti so also wo abakwasem bia wuti me free no wa be ka e ye free just walk into our studios and we would give you the opportunity and na won so so wa ka won nim ye yi ni pam we respect everybody big small blue red yellow inti and then we are going to continue with this um um em um, sermon and na say then knowledge no ye share the other day inti na ye be biem Inti ya bema na fane bako bako ofa Christianity na fe wa befa Islam na question se wo mno na ye ne no atwetwe I welcome you wati me ma wako aba kakra kapa Inti um Latif your name changed to who what you said you've changed your name the Latif I said we need a revolution on the African continent so that we all go back and take what we left let's let's have a time so that everybody will change their name back to our our forefathers names and during that time, we are supposed to, in fact, if we don't de-Christianize and de-Islamize the African continent, we can never liberate ourselves. Really? Yes. We need to close all churches and mosques, convert them into factories, poultry farms, or people should go there and learn. And the learning should be technical and vocational, science and technology. Rwanda did that, and today they are in heaven. It's because of these religions that we are poor. And in fact, today, you see, the Africa is like an ocean. When you want to talk about it, you don't know where to start, you don't know where to end. So today, the topic is, is a very broad topic. I will need a decade to decipher this topic. But mm. um, let's do what we can do today. Okay. Yes. The topic is going to... It's going to happen to people like uh, the Judgment Day when you listen to this topic because they have brainwashed us for millennia now, over a thousand years. So we don't know anything. We don't know ourselves. We don't know our history. Even the religion, we don't know what is religion. We don't know who is God. We don't know when they say fate, destiny. We don't understand destiny. So people are riding there on their motorbikes, they don't wear helmets. You tell them, hey, wear a helmet. Then the person will tell you whatever will happen will happen. That is completely wrong. So we don't know history, we don't know economics, we don't know what is money. Marcus Garvey said that the Negro lacks economic system. Because of that, he's perishing. Hmm. We, are, we are suffering because of ignorance. 
And the knowledge that we are supposed to know, those who know, don't want to teach us. And they don't even want your brother or sister to educate you. Hmm. So anytime a, a, a prophet rises up among black people, they come and kill him. So they've been killing our prophets over the years. So today, we don't know anything. People walk on the street and they drag their feet. Meanwhile, we don't make a single footwear in this country. So we don't know what is economics. With all the abundant human and mineral land and forestry resources, we are still begging. So there is something wrong with us. Something what is, is wrong? Like what is wrong with us? Good. The civilization, the knowledge. Our forefathers wrote in the Egyptian Book of Light that search for the truth and the truth shall set that you shall free. set you free. They copied it into the Bible and said it is one Jesus who said that. It's a lie. The truth that they say we should search for, the white people are in possession of it, but they say they won't give it to us. So um, one white man said something, um, Harry Berry, uh, in 1843, Today's where they call him a Senate, but that, those days they were calling them House of Representatives. Mm -hmm. He said, and I quote, we have as far as possible closed every avenue by which the light of truth may enter the slave's mind. Mm. If we could extinguish their capacity to see the light, our work will be complete. They will then be on the level of the beast of the fields, and we then should be free. Hmm. Unquote. So they are just muddying the waters. They are miseducating us. They are misinforming us. They are brainwashing us. They have mentally engineered us towards our self-destruction. Are you saying we don't have our shortcomings too? It's our brain in anybody's hand. What happened along the line? They damage our brains along the line. How? Our forefathers, they, they, they pick them from, they seize them from their mothers and say they should build mission houses and teach them only the Bible to, to grow. And they did not even teach them the actual meaning from the Bible. They taught them their religion. And when they, they didn't allow them to have contact with their grandfathers and fathers and mothers. So when they grew, they only know the Christian religion. So when they grew, they taught their colleagues and taught their children. So their children grew up, and their, so when, when this generation grows up, they will damage their colleagues' minds, then they will hand it over to the little children. Then when they also, so that has been happening over five generations now. So you are, you are detached, you are that, disconnected. That is why they tell us, they, they wrote in, the, they gave them instruction that catch them young and they shall be yours forever. forever. And that is what we are doing right now. The Sunday schools that the children go and the cartoon that our little children go. You don't teach your religion to children. That's child abuse because have you done any research about the religion to ascertain that is the true religion? Hmm. Do you know where the religion is from? So you teach your children science and civilization. They should, they should learn literacy and numeracy because in this, today's world, if you cannot read nor write, you cannot fit in. Then after that, you teach them, you let them acquire a profession, either through formal education or informal, that's apprenticeship. Then from that, when they get a job, they, you know, when they are mature, they you know, tell them, this is my religion. Go and study it. If you want. There are other religions. Study them. Then choose the one you think mm. is the true religion. If this was what they did to us, nobody would be a Christian or a Muslim. Mm. So when they teach you that, that nonsense from childhood and you grow up, nonsense becomes perfect sense to you. What do you call nonsense? The Islam and Christianity they are teaching us. It's, it's Let me what? give you an example. It's what? It's nonsense. Why? Look at us. We sit on more than half of the world's wealth, but we are still begging. But before Islam and Christianity, we didn't owe anybody. Hmm. We, we were not beggars. There's nothing in Christianity that is in the Bible. The name Christianity is not in the Bible. The Bible itself is not in the Bible. Trinity is not in the Bible. Whatever Christians do is not found in the Bible. 
they wear footwear into the church. But it is, it is stated in the Bible several places. Joshua removed his footwear in front of a, 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 an angel. Moses took off his footwear. That take off your footwear. Where you are is a, a holy ground. Place. But we wear them there. Women shouldn't. Everything about Christianity is not in the Bible. Even the name Jesus Christ is not in the Old Testament. So they thought, let me give you this. Uh, I'm saying it is the, all what they taught us are nonsense. Um, they said uh, the devil transmogrified himself into a snake and went to deceive Eve, and Eve deceived Adam, and they ate the, 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 the fruit, of, the, the tree of knowledge. Are they trying to tell us that God's security was poor? In Israel, they told us that the, the, the devil used drums to drum, to invite them. So Allah drove the devil out. Then he sneaked in and was drumming, and Allah didn't hear. And after they ate the fruit, and God came and, uh, and found out that they ate the fruit, God cursed the snake, that from now onwards you will crawl on your belly. Were they walking with legs? Were snakes walking with legs? And after Jesus came, uh, God brought his own son for us to kill Jesus and clean that sin. Did the snakes grow back their legs? And if a particular, a particular being transmogrifies himself into another creation, so that particular snake was not a snake, that was a devil. So if there was any punishment, Yahweh should have punished that particular snake or the devil. Not all snakes. What, ha what have all snakes done? To, to be cursed. And if it is only one snake that invaded that Garden of Eden and caused that harm, why is that Yahweh didn't curse that particular snake and he cursed all snakes? And then Yahweh has to bring a, a holy person, virgin a man that was killed to, to clean that sin. What was the sin? Adam and Eve ate a fruit. That was a sin. And we have to kill somebody to clear that sin. Who has caused a grievous sin? Is it Yahweh or Adam? And above all, Bonnie by now, yes, yeah, yeah, what's the your cool people will be bunny? What sin did, did Jesus do? That we have to kill him to clean somebody's sin. He was a sacrificial lamb. Oh, he was a human being. He felt the pain. Did he tell you? I was watching one movie during Easter, and the way Jesus was tortured, one Albert man just said that, Jesus, Jesus said, oh, oh, next time, we'll be with us over here steady. The way they tortured Jesus, it's a lie. Everything you know is a lie. Everything you hear, you listen, you learn, even in the university, is a lie. University There's, is a lie. The, we have learned science and technology for years. Have we been able to make a car? Even cutlass. We still use ah, cutlass. Ah. Pim, pim. They've hidden the truth from us. What is the truth? The truth, you see, the realities of this world. We are the creators. So I want to read the topic. Let's take it one by one. The topic goes as this. It's a whole essay, but I summarize it. Islam and Christianity are both idolatry. Allah, Yahweh, Jesus, and the race are all idols. All the prophets mentioned in both the Bible and the Quran all worship idols, including Prophet Muhammad. Christians and Muslims worldwide are worshiping idols, but they don't know. In the Rajakpa, to Isaiah, and the race, they were prophets. Even they were gods, not even prophets. And then all prophets. They were all prophets. Then Jakpa is greater than Prophet Muhammad. But yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You don't know. G uh, uh, Tawazir is greater than Jesus. And Konfanochi. Konfanochi is greater than Moses. Moses, according to their book, split the sea and they walked through. A Konfanochi conjure a river. Apostle Savo said that you are. You are the creator, so you are a God yourself, but you don't know. It is the evil man who is telling you you are not, that you can't do. We, we are creators. 
We are not prophets. When they say prophet, they created, they acquired that term to mislead us. There's nobody called so prophet. So when you say we, we are creators, so who are you referring to? Blacks or all humans? Blacks. We when all blacks come together. When we get there, I will explain more. Okay. I don't think we'll get there, but I will after the... the you have after, to get there. Yeah, after the reading of the... I see. Of the uh, topic, I will paraphrase. Okay. Uh-huh. Then... Our ancestors are the creators, and your ancestor is you. So when you are praying, pray to your ancestors. Don't pray to Allah or Yahweh. Our forefathers didn't worship them. They commanded them. So we created Allah, Yahweh, Asasiya, Jesus, whoever, to come and serve us in this physical way because we will be limited in this physical body. We did not come to worship them. Our ancestors offered Salat in Egypt, Ethiopia, and even in Arabia before it became Arabia, the Shebans. When the king of Sheba visited Solomon on her return, they didn't get back to Ethiopia. They settled in the land called Saudi Arabia today. So before the Arabians would come, there were people already there called the Shebans. They were offering Salat seven days a day, seven times a day, but it was not compulsory. And Zoroastustra went to Egypt and learned and came in also created his religion, Zoroastrianism. And he changed Horus' name into Mitra. And he said Mitra walked on water. He was born of a virgin, bear a star in the east. He did miracles, he opened people. It was uh, the, the Horus myth that he used. Mm. I hope you understand. And that is why they also came in, told us as Jesus. So they were offering salad in ancient Persia, I mean, that's Iran. And when you go and take, when you search on, in, uh, on Google, Zoroastrianism versus Islam, you will see that hmm. their religion is exactly as Islam. They believe in books, Al-Kitab. They believe in one God. They believe in prophets. They believe in heaven and hell. They offer salat. They believe in angels. And the salat they offered morning, uh, they, offered, they did Fajr, Zohor, Asr. It's the same name. So the question one, uh, Sheikh, that you told us that Prophet Muhammad went up and brought salat, but these things are just the same. The Sheikh said, Allah sent over 125,000 prophets, so Zorazusra could be one. So they themselves, they are confused now. So when they created Islam, the Roman created Islam through that uh, uh, Muhammad, they, they have to go and wipe out Zoroastrianism so that there will not be evidence to disprove it. That, no is why, that is why Iran and Saudi are enemies. The Iranians are not Arabians. They were Persians. And they were very advanced. Hmm. So they conquered them, burned all their books and their religion. Anytime you create a religion, you have to make sure that you are a very powerful person. You have legions of what? Warriors so they can Conquer the other mm -hmm. religion. The same way when they created Christianity, they have to conquer Jerusalem and burn the original Hebrew manuscripts. Because some people stood up and brought those original Hebrew manuscripts and said, and just opposed them to the Bible and said, the Bible is mm -hmm. not the true mm -hmm. Hebrew translation. And they have to kill them. And Const Constantine legislated that if you speak against his newly created religion, death penalty. If you speak against the Bible, they should kill you. So people kept quiet. So when you create time. a religion, the people at that time knows that it is criminal enterprise, knows that it is a lie. But when they die, and generation upon generation come, then it becomes the truth. So, I said, children are papa. In so children, where are you going today, to? Boni Adani Papa. And a papa Danny Bonnie. You are watching Revelations. Bonnie Adani Papa and a papa Adani Bonnie. We are the biggest. You can call us, say, yeah, yeah, revelators. Ye be 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 mu. And we are all learning. So when you say we should go back, go back. Uh, answer this before you continue your, yes. your, 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 yeah. your essay. We should go back, go back, go back. People are asking, go back where? Where are our names, our original names? Somebody is here. Or you give birth to a child here, you call the person justice, gloria, victory, peace, happy. When they actually say you are a Christian, but Christian, Christianity is supposed to be based on the life of what? Yeshua. Yeshua was born in Israel. Israel is not located in Europe. And the 
original Israelis were black people. That's why they wiped them out because they could have come out and say they lied to you. So they wiped them out. So if you're a Christian, they should bear Israelis' name. Even the religious Christianity was created in Rome. And Rome is in Europe and Jesus or Yeshua was in born Israel. in Israel. How come that? Let's take it that Prophet Muhammad came in Arabia and Chinese who bring us a religion saying it's about that prophet. And that's why he said, where are the original uh, uh, Hebrew manuscripts? So you name your children after people who enslaved your forefathers. That's why our, the children are now causing havoc in parents' heart. They will go and steal somebody's asset with 1,500 Ghana cities, like a mobile phone, and go and sell it 50 Ghana cities. And take the money to go and buy tramor and drink and booze. Because the spirit in him was the person... The name that you have given to the child. So it's like it's, uh, it's slavery in disguise. Disguise. So we are supposed to go back and take our original names. Because those names were names that, was glo that were glorifying our adults. Like uh, Isaiah is not Isaiah. It was Yeshaya. Yeshaya. Yesha means save. So Yah is uh, Yahweh. God. So... Hmm. Our Lord is saved. That same name became Yesh, Yeshua. Yesha. You understand? That, so Isaiah and Jesus, uh, Yeshua is the same name. Yeshua means Yah is salvation. And salvation is the same thing as well. Save. Obadiah. And they said Obadiah. Obadiah means serving your Lord. So we, we, they succeeded in changing the name. So when you mention Jesus, you are not confessing Yeshua. I hope you understand. So we are supposed to change our names. If not, we will never get there. And if you consider all African greatest people, Kwame Nkrumah, uh, Chino Achibe, Kofi Annan, they are all bearing African names. I have the list here, but maybe another time I will mention them. <laughs> so we should change our names. Where in my community, we were having our own soap the old ladies used to make. We call it the uh, gonja soup. Where is it? Where are our songs? Where are our drums and ensembles? They use Islam too. They are, they are est est estimulating them. Where are our Anansi stories? Where are our proverbs? In Gonja right now, we don't even know. Me, I don't know a single proverb in Gonja. As for accounts, they are doing very well. Where are, where, where are our Fugwe and Kente? Where are the uh, 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 drinking pots that we used to drink from? They've replaced them with their fridges. They are exterminating you gradually, but we don't know. You are asking where are Fugu and Kente? Yes. What are you wearing? Good. That's what I'm saying. I'm also part of the problem. That's what I'm saying. Where are our... <laughs> <laughs> if one person changes, it won't work unless we have a revolution. Exactly. Today, me, I'm about 40 years. If you take me out to, my, uh, to the outskirts of my community, and ask what's the name of this uh, grass, this leaf, this shrub, this tree, I can't tell you. But the names taught us the function of those plants. And we use them to cure diseases. Now, how about our children? They teach the children to greet good afternoon, good, good afternoon for, in, in the private schools. So they're going to forget. Meanwhile, my mama ajo is the same thing as salamu alaikum. Ajo means peace. Asumjwe. When you want to enter a house, you say, Ago, Ajo. In Gonja, we say, Gafrenche. When you step on somebody's stool, you say, Gafra. Gafra, that means peace. They copied everything from us. Repackage mm. it to come and destroy us. So, please, let me, let me flow as accordingly. Mm. Mm. Flow as accordingly. Let the president declare Fugu or Kente as school uniform in this country. And see the number of armed robbers that will be eliminated. The number of tenure pregnancy and abortion that will be eliminated. Because if all the children wants to go and buy the kente and fugu, then there will be pressure on the tailors, the sellers, the tailors, the weavers. There to will be jobs. I learned to, even today the, the threats are being done Est abroad and brought to us. Mm. They are trying to estimate mm. us. Our forefathers discovered cotton, cultivated it, harvested it, and string it into threads. Use it to weave fabrics and use the fabrics to sew clothes and work clothes. At the time, the white people were walking, roaming in the, in the wilderness as nomads and What savages. were they wearing? They were naked. The white people? Yeah. 
We taught them everything. Soap. They didn't know what to soap. They didn't know what was bath. Bath. They, did, they didn't bath. That brothel? Yes. No, One it. queen in Britain, uh, uh, is in Spain, bragged that for the whole year she bathed twice during her time. Who? A queen in Europe. <laughs> it's the Moors who went and taught, civilized them. They, they didn't know what was building technology, so they didn't live in homes. They were roaming around. And when there was bad weather, rain, what, they died. They didn't even know what was herbs. At that time, our forefathers have, have already written, eat the fruits and use the leaves to cure yourself. So, so the first medical practitioner, Imhotep, was in Africa. And we established... Uh, the first university in, in the world, University of Makoni in ancient Morocco, the second university, to, uh, University of Timbuktu in Mali. The, the white people came and copied everything. We invented literacy, numeracy, mathematics, everything. Dentistry, Hesire, he was the first dentist on earth. We did surgery. They are all drawn on the Egyptian walls. They came and copied everything here, and they are now fight they say psychological warfare out there against black people but we don't know hmm we are revelations the biggest so hey uh, so no, I, I told it. you that we black people we that's why in the Quran in the Bible Allah, they speak we 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 let us create man in our own image Yahweh and who it is our forefathers who wrote these things and they took them edited them so if there's time, I will take uh, the Bible. If I want to, this is the Quran. If I want to tell you the actual meaning. You see, our forefathers saw that there was a calamity that was coming to befall them. So they wrote these things down. And those that they wrote on stones, they know that they can't change them. Then those that they wrote on paper scrolls, they know that they can edit them. So they codified it. They, code, they wrote in codes. So anybody who can decode the Quran, the biblical message is rich on earth now. That's why the Illuminati, they don't share their secrets. So when you go to Illuminati, they have the Quran, the Bible, the Vedas, and what have you. And they have compasses, they have protractors, they will decode mm. the information there. So I will find a means of coming here to buy time. We will take the Quran from Fatiha to Ikhlas, verse by verse, and I will teach black people the actual meaning. This Genesis, it is not talking about this universe. Genesis is not talking about this universe. In the beginning, God created heaven and earth. That means if heaven is supposed to be some kind of spiritual place outside this universe, you take it out, what is left is earth. Is that what they are telling us? Hmm. They didn't even tell us how the, the other planets were created. That, have, uh, that heaven and earth. So this actual Genesis is not talking about this universe. And then they said, uh, if, if, we go, if we have time, we'll take it one by one. And I'll give you the actual meaning. But let me go according to Shadow. <laughs> according to Shadow, yes. indeed. So <laughs> we created Allah, Yahweh, Jesus, Azaziah, or whoever to come and worship us in this physical world. Allah, Yahweh, Jesus are the devils. They are the what? The devils. Are you okay so right Allah now? Allah and Muslims. Especially the Muslim leaders, the pastors and malams, they are the devils. Ha! Huh. And they call our African spirituality, our fetish priests, the devils. But they are blasphemous people. You go to church to dance on your creator. These spiritual pastors will go and acquire African spiritual powers. And come and do miracles in the name of uh, a white Jesus. You are watching Revelation. The quest is soon coming to you. We are bringing you a new show, the biggest. Hey, my cat from me see your bed delve, your bed come, your bed cross us in us in the near in the yamu in sunu, your bed boy rub baby every corner. The quest is on its way. It will baffle you. It will shock you. We are the biggest. When it, we, you talk about consciousness, awakening, liberation, we are on the way. Obi abe nyane at once. Eh, hey, hey uh, no, hey you no. go, These people will go and acquire African spiritual powers. Come and do miracles in the churches and deceive their congregants that it is some white Jesus who is doing that miracle. Entrenching the belief in black people and even including children. 
that the white man is the black man's God. That is falsehood. And you know what they do? They cast their spiritual diseases into the people. And those with lower vibrations, you say your spirit is weak. Those, spirit will, uh, those diseases will, uh, they will contract those diseases. And when you are affected by such spiritual disease, nobody, no, even no, no other pastor can cure you unless that particular pastor. You will come, he will cure you, take your money, it will go, the, the disease will go out of you, go ahead affect another person, the person will come, he will take his money, then in that cycle, so when, when the year ends, you'll be riding in a private jet and you'll be walloping in poverty and he'll come and tell you, don't worry, when you die, you go to heaven. Which devil is, is, is more devilish than this person? Who is more devilish than such a person? And when I learned one story, when a church was pulled down, and it was excavated. Under there, there were skulls, human skulls. They buried people before they, they, they built these spiritual churches. This, recently, one of my brothers passed away, and when he was hit by that disease, that strange disease, we didn't even take him to the hospital. We didn't take him to the mocks. We didn't take him to the church. We took him into the hinterlands. Something which saves you in terms of desperation. You say that thing is demon. Mm. It's devilish. And you, those who are lying to us, you are God's children. When you are exposing them, they will come together and say, let's kill him. Let's kill him spiritually, physically, psychologically. Mm. They don't want the truth to get to God's children. So who is the devil now? So let's kill him. Are you afraid? Do you sometimes get scared? Me, what I have gone through. When they want to kill you, they will use spiritual means. Those ones who waste my time. <laughs> and when they can't, these people are devilish. Mm. I learned this guy said, uh, I won't mention his name, that they should stop quotation master and because they are taking their food out of their mouths. The business that they are doing is what they are protecting, what they are eating from. But you are causing impoverishment in the people because you are not supposed to bring somebody to church to come and worship his creator or her creator through you. You are supposed to lead the person to discover the kingdom of heaven in, within that person. Mm. So uh, 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 Reverend Every Wilson, that if you come to her church for a year and you still come to her for deliverance, then she has done nothing. Our forefathers wrote that the kingdom of heaven is within you. And any of you who will discover themselves, or him, himself, when I say themselves, when I use the word they, I'm talking about he, she. Uh -huh. Any of you who will discover, let's say, himself or herself, will discover the kingdom of heaven. There is innate power within us. Everything you need is within you. Hmm. But the knowledge is being kept from us. So the day I did that program, many people who watched it were calling me and say they need my help. I said, nobody can help nobody. Mm. We can open the door for you, but you have to walk through it. Nobody can help nobody. Pastors are supposed to lead us to discover God ourselves within us so that we can tap into that enormous power over there. You don't need anybody. But they will say you are a, sh a, a sheep. So come, he's a shepherd. No, everybody is a whole universe on their own. You can create your own world. We are creators, mm. but that power is hidden from us. So let me continue. <laughs> we are revelations today. We are here with hey, we are here. So <laughs> we we created Allah, Jesus, Yahweh, and whoever to come. We and the blacks. Us. Yes, we. Allah, Yahweh, Jesus are the devils and the devils. Ah. The, the, the person they told you, the being they said, is your devil, is your creator and sustainer. Opposite. They, they turn everything upside down. upside down. They turn every knowledge. They indoctrinated every knowledge. They misinterpreted everything to us. They misinformed, miseducated. They brainwashed us for, for over thousands of years. So we don't know anything. So let me give you some few examples. We go to school to learn in the field because when you complete, you're not coming to sit in four walls. When you, one office worker will need about 100 field workers to be able to, to survive. So when you go to my district education office, there are about 50 workers there who are superintending or coordinating the work of what? About 1,000 teachers. 
So we are producing more chiefs than the Indians. The Indians used to carry their chiefs. Now everybody is a chief. Who is to carry who? Mm. We are not producing the primary producers, the agriculturalists, the engineers, the manufacturers, the inventors. It the is economy. punishment to We them. are rather producing economics, psychology. What are they coming the to manage? The tertiary uh, producers. What are they coming to manage? to come to? and economize what? And our doctors can, can manufacture drugs. They only end up dispersing the white people's drugs. And they've succeeded in replacing all our herbal medicine with DS. Ghana Institute of uh, 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 Scientific Study research into plant medicine. They have discovered a lot of drugs, medicine that can cure us. Dr. Sebi said European medicine drugs don't cure diseases. They treat symptoms. It is Africa herbal portion that cure diseases. Mm -hmm. They don't want us to fall, uh, fall on our own because Europe has nothing. They don't have diamonds, they don't have gold, they don't have arable lands, they, don't, they have nothing. What they survive is what they manufacture for us and our natural soil that they are exploiting. So if you want to make our own goods and commodities, that means we can make our cars. And if we can make our cars, we can make heavy duty equipment. And if we can do that, then we can discover and invent machines that will explore and, and, and discover where our mineral resources are. We make yeah. machines that will exploit them ourselves. And when we stop them, what are they going to survive on? Mm. We are saying they are dead for And look at the whole of Africa. Everything we use is important. So if you want to stop everything and unify Africa and make our own goods and commodities, Africa is heaven. But because of the ignorance, not necessarily ignorant because of uh, the war. Our enemy has, has been able to present himself as our uh, savior. So we are glorifying our enemy and we hate our own saviors. That's mm. what they've done to us. Mm. That's what they've done to us. So to, we create to come and worship us. So the devil they taught you is actually your creator and your sustainer. The Satan. The Satan. When you go to Quran, it's Iblis or uh, Shaitan, and his people are Shayatin. When you go to the Bible, Lucifer or Satan, that is actually your creator and your sustainer. Hey! So you go to church to dance on him. Whilst the devil is standing there looking at you. You go to Mecca to throw stones to hit your creator. Whilst the Arabian standing there is the devil looking at you because the pilgrimage is a scam. Hajj is a scam. You, look, let me do some comparison. When you go to Jerusalem, they have a wall there which people kiss. Mecca, there's a wall there, we go around. When you go to Jerusalem, we have Zanzam River. Uh, uh, Jordan, Jordan. Holy, they fetch water and for you. You go to Mecca, there's Zanzam. Zanzam. When you go to Jerusalem, uh, 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 this Christianity, they use Tazbah. Mostly we use it. They, in Christianity, they have two uh, festivals, Easter and Christmas. In Islam, we have two. So during this time, every sacrifice is go to their idols. So we live in this country, even a pin we cannot manufacture. We, are, we say we don't like our own local goods. It's the foreign commodities that we want. So we import almost everything. How is Zamzam -zam water going to solve my problem? And they told us that when you go to Hajj and come, everything you do, God Allah will bless you. All the people who have gone to Hajj and come are regretting. And then last year I learned over 2,000 people paid 30,000 Ghana cities to go to Mecca and come. And this year about 4,000 people are going to pay 40,000 Ghana cities. You live in a country that borrows to survive and you are wasting this huge amount of nonsense. And when they go and come and you don't call them the al haji al haji they become angry. They, they aggrandize themselves with the word al haji Me, al haji means stranger. stranger. You go to Mecca, you're a stranger. You come to Ghana, you're a stranger. Black people, nobody knows what has actually happened to us. When you come to Ghana, Muslim communities are the poorest. And we are spending this money. These people are, 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 are super rich. Over $100 billion they get every year in Hajj. So how come that the whole country, no single Muslim is having this common sense? Because how do you know? They should have, if you speak out, they'll kill you. Uh, so it's because... So many people know, but they keep quiet. So which people are killing people because of the truth? That's not the devil's people. 
you speak the truth. They say they'll kill you. They themselves are saying there's no truth in this world, isn't it? If you speak the truth here in this country, they will come for you. Hmm. So the malans and pastors, why are they preaching against corruption in this country? Because they and the leaders are accomplices. They are also corrupt. I and my father are one. You are watching the biggest and the largest African spiritual platform. So what I'm saying... So the Arabians are supposed to tell us that Africans patronize your own goods. They are supposed to tell us. No, I, I'm building a point. Patronize your own goods. In that case, the, those goods and commodities are supposed to be available. And in order to make them available, we should make them ourselves. And before you can make your own goods and commodities, then you must invent and discover. Or go and learn, buy patents, and come and do re-engineering, like how the Japanese and the Chinese did. And before we can learn and do all these things, then we must make education free and universal and compulsory. Because those who are inventors, they are the hinterlands. They are mm. the orphans from poor families. So if you make it free, the, the parents will send them to the farm and to go and be fully cut up. Whilst their children will go to school. That is why Europe made education compulsory. So in Europe, when you give birth to your child, you don't take the child to school, you are arrested. And when your child completes high school, you don't push the child to uh, teach her, you are arrested. But they came here through Islam and told us education is haram. And mm. when we are suffering, Mala will come and tell you, Allah is testing you. When you die, you go to heaven. That is the devil. The devil in disguise. In disguise. So they are supposed to tell us, Africans, make your own good. Look, when Saudi discovered their oil, it was an American company that was digging or exploiting that oil. And the percentage they gave to them, they didn't spend it. They accumulated the money and bought half of oil. Uh, half the company and it became Aramco. It was American oil company. When they bought half of their shares, it became Aramco. With the little they were getting. They, uh, they became Aramco. That is Arabian American oil company. And the 50% they got, they mobilized and fully bought the whole company. Management. And they are now digging their own oil and they are they better their, They are free. Why haven't they told us this, that we should buy our own gold mining companies, diamond mining company, and this oil mining company, they won't tell us. That's that. why I'm asking you, why do we have to wait for somebody to come and tell so us? So I am saying do? they shouldn't tell the uh, Hajj that they should fetch Zam, Zam River and go home. It, it is, uh, they will get blessing. That is a scam. Can't we think River? Oh, can't can, we think ourselves? They brought us religion. Why didn't they bring us civilization? Did ah, you invite them here to bring uh, Islam? That's what i I'm asking. Now, yes, yes, sorry, why? I'm going to tell you how, why they will be able to condition us this way. Okay. Uh -huh. go ahead. So, so the devil that taught you is actually your creator and sustainer. That is why we are poor, because we demonize our ancestors and they are our angels. And we demonize our uh, 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 fetish, fetishism and what have you. And we are worshiping things that are uh, uh, harming us. Islam is the greatest scam in human history, and Muhammad is the greatest liar to ever walk the face greatest of Greatest what? Liar. Mm. A Mala will lie completely, and people will applaud him. Allah will akbar. That, on the day of judgment, there's a pit full of fire, and there's a metal bridge. A metal is very, uh, it's a strip, and it is sharper than razor blade. Which metal is sharper than razor blade? Which metal? <laughs> and that you, the evil ones will carry their. Uh, their sins, and they will crawl on that metal to be cutting their buttocks. Why? Mala, why? What wrong have we done? And the angels will stand there and use this uh, adra, those uh, things they used to catch fish, and then they will be fishing and be throwing it inside the fire. Uh, this is complete lie! And we believe in it. Mm. If I want to recount to you all, Tell you the lies they've been telling us. Tell us five, five of it and continue. They said, uh, when you die, as soon as they bury you and they turn back and they are going, you, Allah will restore your life and you will sit up. You will hear their footsteps going. Pa, 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 pa. So you will start calling, hey, Kabiru, hey, this, you are going and leaving me. That is when you realize that you are dead. You are, you are dead. Have you ever seen a corpse sitting in the grave before? Because we've not been. When there. you bury somebody for years, will you go and look? The way we bury them is very, very close. You can't rise up and sit down. 
And they say in the grave, when you are a very good Muslim, it will become like a hotel, a very big one. So you'll be living in a house. Then the uh, Fajr will come as a human being. The Salat will offer in the morning. He will come as a human being, as an angel, and be chatting with you. When it's time for Zohar, he will go, another one will come. Have you ever exhumed a corpse and found out that the grave you dug, that uh, six feet, has become uh, like a, 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 a hall? <laughs> and then they say in the grave, when you are an evil person, the angels, the angel of death will come with cloud, very heavy one. He will hit you and you will enter inside the earth. And the Again. earth will bring you back. In that case, are, are they talking about your physical body or spiritual? Because spirits don't enter earth. A human being, we are not like wedges. We are not sticks. We, we have joints. So how are you going to hit a human being? And the human being will enter the, the ground. earth and the ground will bring the person Push, back. Go back, uh, go back for your kings. For, for your kings. And the mocks that we are praying in that, on the day of judgment, the mocks will be like a car. And the car will fly you to heaven. So anytime people are in the mocks praying, they think that the car is taking them. So they expect that when they step out, they are stepping out into heaven. <laughs> hey! Are you, are you safe? <laughs> you have seen they will step. <laughs> Me, I'm not here. <laughs> they will step out and come and meet the hunger, the stomach, also the the bombs. Hey, yare, yare, ponko, ponko, stomach, also stomach, also ekura, ekura. Hey, we are we are all of us are sick Muslims, and we can't even kill ourselves. Allah says He will not bless us on this earth. When we die, He will bless us. So Allah is not going to give us money to build decent houses and lie in. Allah is not going to give us nourishment so we don't eat better food. Allah is not going to give us money to take proper care of our children and our wives. Allah is not going to give us wealth to be able to buy cars and live luxury on this earth. Allah is not going to, I mean, give us any comfort on this earth. So Allah won't give us good health so that we become strong and worship him because we are all sick and we can't even go for medical checkups. People go to hospital, they say, bring 1,000 Ghana city. They say, I'm too poor, I'm going home to lie and die. And they will go home and lie and die. And medical doctors have told us that such people will go and by three months time, information will get to them that the person is dead. You know, I was doing a, a radio program. So when you do this thing, when you talk about social issues, what people bring up to you, you see that there's something wrong. Hmm. We are so poor. And we break down on our sick beds, the old people. And they lie there for de over a decade before they die. Especially the women. The pain. Because they it's... tell them they should, they should just sit. So if you don't hustle and partner your husband to take proper care of your children, how can they aspire higher in life and come and take care of you. So the children will dump their parents and run to Accra here and be hustling. When the parents die, they will go and bury and come back. We are suffering. And they told us, it is a test. When we die, we will go to heaven. Why is Allah not testing the Arabians? So, we are going to talk about, I said, we are the creators. Apostle Safo, I watched one video of his and he said he has created water a pond he has created water and created fishes in that water and when you go there and mention his name the fishes will be fooling you it is there there are a lot of statements speeches civilization knowledge that black people are supposed to get we have Louis Farr, a lot of speakers but that information is not getting to God's children and mm. we are dying for lack of knowledge we are perishing this is what somebody have to say. <clears throat> that you have to remember that everything that you believe to be true came from history's greatest liars. Mm. These Arabians are not the original Arabians. The original Arabians are black people. After all, they told us that Ishmael was black. And all, of the, all the Arabians are from Ishmael. How come that now they are white? Mm, because almost in Hebrew for no, no, almost yeah, black. In Egypt for some yeah, Egypt black. Egypt were black. How Sarah, the Egyptians Sarah was black? or yeah, Hebrew or yeah, black. Abraham was and black. Uh, Sarah uh, was black. Hagar was and black. You know. So Jesus' mother took him to Egypt and hid. And the Egyptians were black. So if Jesus was white, he would have easily been spotted. So Jesus himself was black. On the castle of Nasir, 
that Constantine said they should make Jesus the God so that they would superimpose uh, the Assassin's name on him so that people would think that he's that guy. So one of the members on that council said, if you present a black man to a white man as his God, he will not worship him. And he said, okay, change the picture. So hey. about 13 people's pictures that we are worshiping, and all of them have come out to say, Africa, stop worshiping us. Yes, ma'am. We are not uh, Jesus. We just acted the Philip, but still, people still have Jesus' pictures. Pictures hanging it. And, and worshiping it, and their children see that guy all the time. That guy? That guy, we have seen Borgia. He was a homosexualist, a rapist, a drunkard, a thief. Were you there? Ah, the history is there. You are not researching. The history, most of them came out. Uh, uh, Robert Power, that he only attended a film. He's not, that he heard that the people in Nigeria are bowing to him as Jesus. That he's not Jesus, he only attended a film. Jesus was black. So somebody said that. That you have to remember that everything that you believe to be true came from history's greatest liars. They are also your brutal colonizers and enslavers. Think long and hard about these facts that I am giving you when insisting that what you have been taught are true. Don't dispute what I am telling you on grounds of the fiction that you were taught. Mm. I am giving you the true knowledge, the truth. And these are scientific facts, research evidence, documented facts. But you deny them on grounds of, on grounds or because of what your fiercest enemies taught you. So if this was live on TV at Kamale, at the reading of this topic alone, mostly you would have invaded here. But I said Toazé is greater than them. Toazé is their ancestor. She said, Mama. But still, somebody came from their country here and told your ancestors are devilish. They are the saints. They worship idols. So they are in hellfire. Now, no, but baby, a uh, yes, serious partner say, mm. baby, a uh, yes, serious partner, they were almost um, pesa almost um, betsy, almost um, one casa, almost um, one sisters, and you almost almost kuro masem, but they are okay listening to somebody. And no, not mean to me. What What it, do you think brought about that? Now let's go straight to them. Hey, and then the other, eh, eh, eh. You are going to discuss uh, uh, Leopold's letter. After the discussion of this letter, you understand why. We are the biggest. We are still the largest. Mm -hmm. No prophet, according to their own narration, their own books and uh, history, no prophet crossed an ocean to preach his way. Even Jesus didn't preach to other people. He said, I came for the Lordship of one, Israel. So Jesus didn't cross an ocean. No, none of the prophets. Prophet Muhammad didn't cross to Africa here to preach Islam. Because if he, if he came, where is he going to stay? And the prophets didn't work. They didn't have money. And God's work, there's no pay. So who's going to find your uh, 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 ship fare and what have you? Where you can, where you sleep? Can you tour the whole of Ghana? Can you tour the whole of Africa, the whole world? So when you take the world map, all the biblical and, and the Quranic stories are just in a circle within the, the, the radius of Ghana. How about the other continents? So anybody who crossed a continent came here to preach a religion, came for a purpose. Tell them who sent them. Who is funding them? Somebody will create a religion, invest in that religion, and later the person will be repent. So the people who came with religions, they were trained to come and preach that person's message, not what is in the scriptures. So Christianity is different from uh, the Bible. And Islam that we are practicing, none of our Islamic practices is in the Quran. Before you go to uh, 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 um, Leopold's uh, letter, letter yeah. I want you to tell me why you feel that Christianity, everything Christianity, everything they are practicing is not in the Bible. Tell me, handle that, please. We are not Why? Why the, do you say so? The, the the name Christianity itself is not in the Bible. The name Christianity, from head to toe, is not in the Bible. The name Trinity, there's no any triune God in the Bible. Where 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 where, where did it come from? It's because when you create a religion. You get a book for it, and the book even didn't match what. So, they what was, what's the meaning of Trinity? They said God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. There's no way in the Bible you will see this thing. And somebody said that why is that the Old Testament, the Old Testament God, is different from the New Testament God? 
Why is it so, so different? Okay, so this, this, this mystery or this story, have you heard before, mm -hmm. that they have a Dagon or Dagon and Mitra mm -hmm. and the other one, what's the Dinosaurs. Uh -huh, mm -hmm. Together, making mm -hmm. a trinity. It is our forefathers who carved these things in Egypt. As I see, uh, that is uh, ISIS. The woman or carrying Osset. baby. Good. With, with the, the, the sun the, 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 the hologram. Head. Yes. They copied it. Everything, everything the Pope wears, it is from Egypt. They copy everything. So when we come to there, I will bring those uh, evidence. I hope you understand. Everything, Trinity, blah, 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 it is Osar, Osset, and Horus. That, that is the Trinity. So Trinity originates even the, 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 the cross. That's the ankh symbol, ankh symbol. It is round like this. And that is meaning. So they copied everything. Let's deal with this letter. And you understand what I'm trying to tell you. So I said no prophet crossed an ocean to preach his religion. No prophet. So the people who brought us Christianity, what was their mission? So they called them missionaries. And when they were coming, they were giving specific instructions. Constantine created Christianity 325 AD. That is after the death of Jesus Christ. And it was a kaba, it was a clique, like Illuminati. If you were not rich or affluent or a, 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 a king or somebody who is well-to-do or an opinion leader, you were not allowed to join it. We, we will come back to, to this place. So if you say Constantine created that, that religion in yeah. that age, yeah. you said... A A C yeah. or A D and we have B C yeah. before Christ, after Christ, after death of Christ, yeah. and blah blah blah. Yeah. So if you are saying this is not true, then what happens to the calendar and the time? Because they are saying A D after the death, you know A D B C yeah. and all that. Yeah. All I mean in that direct call yes after after the death or after the birth of Christ and yeah. after you know that A D B C yeah. so if you are saying you say all these stories Jesus story and all that is not true how can say the calendar not the age you know is identified as after Christ and not before Christ why so B C some people interpret as before common era B C uh -huh. before common era a, a, a C after common era, A C. So you are yep. you you there, you are just turning everything. No, no, no. But have you heard about the before Christ? They are and, have the you waters. heard about this before Christ? Have you heard this? Yes, B C okay. uh -huh. A D uh -huh. after the death of Christ. A D is uh -huh. another dominion, the year of our Lord. That is after the year of our Lord, all the years, and their Lord is the God they created, Jesus, not okay. Yeshua. Okay, so Yehoshia was there. Yehoshua, you, we will come here. Our mm. time is almost due for this very episode, okay. but I will hold you down okay. so you continue this conversation. Okay. But before you go, we, our time is due. I won't mm. ask for your last word because okay. I want you to continue okay. this. So read the letter of the uh, uh, Leopold, yeah. then we, we hold it there and continue in okay. the next episode. Uh, let me uh, review something small about this calendar, calendar. The calendar they give to us, September. When you go to polygonious numbers, September is sep septagon, seven. So September was the seventh month. October that means octagon, eight. So October was the eighth month. November was the ninth month. And December was the tenth month. So January, February were the last month of the year. So March was New Year. When they conquered our forefathers, they changed everything. They don't want us to see our... We, we will come there one Good. day because even in, um, uh, in Israel calendar, their year ends in October. Yes. So we are not going to That's go there they are, now. Their months are different from our local months. So we are not going yes. to go there, the lunar and the sun calendars yeah. and all that. We yeah. are not going to go there today. But I want you to read the letter yeah. so we end here and yeah. continue. So they were bringing Christianity to us. So mm -hmm. I, I, I just want to give you the premise for this. Mm -hmm. So Constantine created Christianity. Uh, 325 AD, that is Arnold Domino, after 325 years. We will come here for a better yeah, explanation. Yeah, I, I, so I want to, it's a premise. Uh -huh. With our rate, you understand okay. it. So it was not a global rage, it was a clique, like a occult, cultic group. Mm. And people in the hinterlands were not allowed to join. And in Greek language, the hinterlands or the countryside was called Pegus, that's district. So they call them pagans. That's where the name pagan is from. So in 
1889 that the first church was established. That is the Catholic Church. So after Constantine died, that about 2,000 years before the, the first church was what, cre uh, created. So it was his descendants who saw that when they globalized that particular religion, no, 1825. 1825 uh, AD, that's about 2,000 years, excuse me. Mm -hmm. So that, so the, fir the first church was Catholic church, that means universal church, after the other churches sprang up. So when they created that church, some of their allies said they should bring it to Africa. And when they were coming to Africa, this was the instructions they gave to them, uh, King Leopold. Okay. They wanted our resources, so they should use the religion and come and get those resources. And I'm going to read. That is uh, Kiliopo's letter to the Christian missionaries in 1883. So 1825 was the church established. Mm -hmm. So some few years later, they have to bring it to Africa. Reverend fathers and dear compatriots, the tax entrusted to you is very delicate to fulfill and requires some tact. Priests, you will go, of course, to evangelize, but your evangelizing must be inspired above all by the interests of Belgium. You know, you see, he's the king of Belgium. So those who were coming from Belgium, you said there's a very strong connection between the Belgian government or dynasty with the Catholic Church. The main goal of your mission in Congo is therefore not to teach the Negroes to know God because they know him already. They speak about and submit themselves to a Mundi, a Mungu, a Diakomba, and what else I don't know. So they didn't even know who was God, but we knew God already. So our forefathers didn't describe the creator as he or she. They call them he or she or them or many. They didn't know whether it was one or two. So for Mohammed to tell us the creator is one, that alone is a straightforward lie. Because nobody has seen the creator before. Are you done with the letter? No, no, no. no. I'm not done Our yet. time is almost. Uh, so, so, let you, me... so let's end here and uh -huh. then we come and start from here. Good. <laughs> so um, that is um, our brother Abdul Latif. Also, our sister, you have a banner. Ya beka and your friends saying Sa Semono into no um ye still I delve into um histories and spirituality of Africa. Na so de be anna a reakuno a ye asemni buana a bru ni paso, e be wahon so anna a si si e ni paso. Dia me king in anna se mumma yang ina ye bisa questions ni yang king kain niama because si no a dear chin a dear san ni be no a ne koso mwa mo or die for negro bibles no. Who bet to me about office or not? My baby picking up at media bar into one more order for Negro Bible. Nina, who bet to me about office or not? My baby picking your bet to us, Uncle Mo. We are so see, dear Yembre, I a bit Nechina, you may add one at the part two. No, a bet to us so at the amount. A dear me just so I had a Hadassa and I said Empress Makida. I am revelations, I am the biggest. Into a china to say, yeah, your best sign, I bet to Uncle Mo. So, Macrow.